Well, let me tell you plainly and clearly, people in the hearing of my voice, I'm speaking to the old, to the young, to the in-between, that a terrible time is coming upon the world. What you are seeing in the world right now is nothing compared to when probation closes for guilty humanity. If you should have any chance of eternal life, take heed to the word of the Lord right now. Take heed, search your heart to see if you're a sinner, then if you're a sinner, this message is for you. For if you sin, which is transgressing the laws of God, this message is for you. Take heed to the word of God. Take heed to the word of God. Search for him now, before it is eternally too late. Take some time to read your Bible. For soon and very soon, these truths that we are telling you now, that a terrible crisis is coming upon the world, soon and very soon, this what we are saying to you, will be our Lord in the nations. For the true gospel of Jesus Christ, the Bible did tell us that in the last days, men shall run from shore to shore, seeking to hear the word of the Lord, which shall not hear it, for it to be outlawed by the governments of the world. For there is a great contest that is in motion. There is a great controversy that is in motion. And this controversy is over the true gospel of Jesus Christ, which entail the laws of God. For without the law of God, there can be no acknowledging of sin. That's where the Christian world is going contrary to Jehovah God, for the churches nowadays will be used as a medium to lead people to everlasting contempt. For the Bible tells us that the ways of sin is death. That means when you transgress the holy laws of God, the wages of it is for you to be dead eternally, to put to death eternally, to be blotted out of existence. But God don't run the death of a sinner. He run all men turn and repent at the sounding of the gospel call. So right now what you are doing is bringing the word of life to you. Young man in the corner, accept Christ before it is eternally too late. For a day is coming when men will want to hear the word of the Lord, but shall not hear it. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. And my mouth this evening. Take heed to the gospel. For a crisis is coming. Which is not in the far distant future. It is near. A crisis is coming. That will shape the world. A crisis is coming. That is only parallel to 1,260 years in the past. For history will be repeated concerning the true gospel. For in the past, the true gospel was our Lord, was our Lord by the law of the land. And that time is coming again. That's why we are here to let you know that some great changes are about to take place in the world as we know it. For a new system is being put into play right in the political world as we know it. A great change is taking place even in the religious world for a union is being set up in the world today. A union of churches, a union of politics and religion. Hear the word of the Lord this evening for it will complain to you in the not far distant future where you will see the religious world come together across the gulf to shake hands with the political systems of this world. For the Bible tells us so. That's how we can tell it to you as it is in the word of God for this message has been given to us through what is called the three angel messages which is found in Revelation chapter 14, verse 6 to 12. For all man must hear this message. For the Bible tells us when this union takes place, the union of church and politics, the union of religion and state, church and state mixed together. When you see this thing come to pass, if you accept it as from the word of God, then you will receive the mark of the beast. And this is why, for when church and state come together, they will implement 
laws against the Sabbath of the Lord, the true Sabbath of the Lord. For in the past we have seen it, where the church and state mix together, and the church will cause the state to pass laws that is in favor of the religious world. We have seen it in the past. Right now we are seeing it come together nicely in this corona crisis where the governments of the world dictate to the churches how, to, how much to host, how people are to worship. For church and state has no union together. For the Bible tells us what's for Caesar, give it to Caesar. And what is to God, give it to God. For the state should not be allowed to mingle in church affair. For we are warned in the Bible that when the Roman Catholic system proposed themselves to be head of religious affair, and this will happen in the United States of America, hear the word of the Lord, for the religion of this day is corrupt, for they have made void the laws of God, and they will blame this. They will blame the calamity. They will blame the degraded states of the world. upon the religious system for in the United States of America the religious leaders will come together and they will ask the governments to pass a law to dictate to people how they are to worship what we are telling you seems impossible now but in the future in the near future you will see it come to pass what we are here to declare to you is God's word, which has told us plainly in Genesis chapter 2, verse 3 and 4, to remember the seven-day Sabbath to keep it holy. That is one of the plainest commands from the scripture. Remember the seven-day Sabbath to keep it holy. Why we should keep the seven-day Sabbath holy? Because in it, God rested from all his work which he had created and made. It was set aside, it was set up from the creation to be a holy day of convocation, a holy day of worship, so that man and woman will not lose sight of their creator God. They will remember that it is God who created them every single seven day Sabbath. That's what it was made for. But in the past, the man of sin, which is the Pope of Rome, has changed this system and has placed in the place of the seven day Sabbath. The first day of the week, it was deliberate for the willingly opposed the fourth commandment by placing the first day of the week where God has set up the seven day of the week. This controversy will come on the news. This controversy will be published for very soon. We will see where the governments of the world will move to make laws for the churches to implement this very Sabbath, which is false, which is the first day of the week, which is Sunday. We are here to let you know that soon and very soon, Sunday observance will be a law of the land. Sunday worship will be demanded by every government of the world, starting from the United States, for we are soon to see the churches in America move to make Sunday legislation a reality in that country. Soon and very soon, we will see it with our own eyes. Soon and very soon, it will be a reality. But when you see it come to pass, then you will know that God of a people upon the earth, God of a people, which is the Advent people, which is a people of prophecy. For this thing we have to tell you clearly, so that when it comes to pass, you will know. But soon and very soon, Sunday observance will be set up in the United States of America. Soon and very soon, the Roman Catholic system, which is the Antichrist system, the Roman papacy will claim that Sunday is a mark of our authority. By setting up Sunday, we will give the ascendancy to the Roman system. 
Soon and very soon. Soon the lockdown will be a reality. Soon and very soon, the cashless system will be a reality. Soon and very soon, you will, will not be permitted to buy or sell, except you go along with this Sunday observance system. For Sunday observance, just like how oh, it was a reality not too long ago, where every day of the week was a lockdown, soon and very soon, the lockdowns will be on a Sunday. My, my words this evening, for when it comes to pass, you will have known that it is God that sent us here to let you know before it comes to pass. For it will surely come to pass. For the word of God has warned us, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in their forehead or his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. If you worship the beast and his image, by receiving this small Sabbath, when it is being set up by the state, you will receive of the seven last plague. The coronavirus is not the seven last plague, but the seven last plague is soon to come. It is the judgment of God that will fall upon the world. We are warning you not to worship contrary, not to worship on the first day of the week, when it is set up as laws of the land, we are warning you before it comes to pass, for this Sunday observance system is a Roman Catholic system. But the plain command is to remember the seven day Sabbath. The plain command is found in Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, to remember the seven day Sabbath, to keep it only six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. This day that we are walking now is the seventh day Sabbath, for tomorrow is the first day of the week. That one is the false Sabbath. That one will be set up and taken upon the care of the state, and they will implement it as a law that everyone must worship on the first day of the week. That's what we are here to let you know that this is soon to come to pass, that these are the last days that we are now living in. For the scripture had warned us that in Matthew chapter 24, that all these things that we are seeing now will come to pass. We are seeing war. Next we will see famine. We have seen the pestilence. What more do we want to see? To know and understand that there is a God to know and understand that we should so serve and obey this God, for he's the one that controls the future. So we are walking in our community, the Seventh-day Adventist ministry, following the blueprint. We have service every Sabbath, right at Foreigners Estate. And we are inviting you to come. Come and hear the word of the Lord. Come with your questions. For there, is a, there are numbers at the back of the tracks. You can call. You can reason with us. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for allowing us the privilege to walk freely through this community, to invite men and women to come see a man. For this man that we call people to see is Christ Jesus. Cover us on your blood, Lord, as we are walking through. Cover those who receive the chapters and the books so that as they read, O oh Lord, your anointing will be upon them so that they may understand. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and give glory to him. For this is the hour of his judgment. This is the whole duty of man. That they will keep the commandments of God. All things that are done in darkness shall be revealed in the light. Today, your ministry, your church, Following the blueprint ministry, ministry of Seventh Day, Day Adventist, Adventist Church, Church has come, come into, into your, your area, area to let, let you know, know 
that Jesus loves you. And that is why he's making a call that you will hear an answer before it is too late. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6, the Bible, the Bible says, says fear, fear God, this fear interpreted, interpreted in, in love, respect, respect fear, fear God, and give glory to him. For the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him that made the heavens and the earth, the sea and the fountains of water. God is the creator. He has made the heavens and the earth. And God paused. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 3. And God blessed not the first. God paused. And God blessed not the second, third, or fourth. Bible said he rested on the sixth. And God blessed. Not the Adventist church blessed. Not any man, Pope, Vatican, in Italy. Mm -mm. But God blessed. The seventh day, he made it a Sabbath by resting from creation, and God honored it. We are made in the image of God. In the image of God made he them, male and female. And thus God requires us to worship him. Six days, God says thou art to labor. But the seventh day, which is today, thou must rest, pause, honor him, and worship him. For he is worthy to be praised. God, in whose image you are now made. God is sending a message today, a message of warning, a message of love. That man ought to turn now, today, before it is too late. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Today, on God's holy, blessed Sabbath day, God has called, God has blessed, and God expects every creature. Those made in his image, you and I, whatever race you may come from, that we are pause and worship him, for he is worthy to be praised. Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. Babylon is falling, is falling. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 8. Come out of her, my people. The word Babylon means confusion. Anything that is against God is confusion. Man to man, confusion. Woman to woman, confusion. Man to beast, confusion. False worship, confusion. Babylon is falling, is falling. Come out of her, my people. This is a love call. Those in the hearing of my voice, in your house, walking by, driving by, in the kitchen, we have come into your community. No community is too out of our reach. We have come with the word of God, even in this community, so that you may hear, so that you may answer, so that you may turn and repent before it is too late. The Bible says in Revelation 14 and verse 9, if any man, if any man see the mark of the beast, number of his name or his image, shall drink out of the cup of God's indignation, which will be poured out without mercy. But today, the message has come. Today, God's love call is reaching out to you. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 5, mm -hmm. The living know they shall die, but the dead know not anything. The dead know not anything. There are many people that's going to the Odeman. 
There are many people that are using strange oil. There are many people that is trying to communicate with the dead. But the dead know not anything. This is Babylon spiritualism. Confusion. Hear the word of the Lord today. And turn and repent, O Cinnamon. Hear the word of the Lord today. In the house, in the hearing of my voice. Turn and repent. This is a love call. The mark of the beast issue is coming. It will affect every man, every boy, every girl, every woman, every husband, every father, every wife, every mother, every aunt. Everyone will have to make a choice. Just like this so-called pandemic has affected the whole world, has affected the rich, has affected the poor. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 13, you will not be able to buy and to sell the rich man, the poor man, the bond man. Everyone will have to give a heed, a hear, make a decision on the issue of the mark of the beast. If you don't receive this government mandate that's coming, you won't be able to buy and to sell. That's the economy. That's food. That's your produce. That's your product. That's your profit. What will be your decision today? The mark of the beast crisis is coming. It's not about religion. It's not about denomination. It's about truth versus error. It's about the Bible versus tradition. It's about the word of God and the word of man. Hear the word of the Lord today. Before it is too late, turn, O oh cinnamon, turn. God has come into your community today. This is a love call. Repent and turn before it is too late. Don't wait until you die. Turn now and seek the Lord while he may be found. Every nation on earth, the Caribbean, the Western Hemisphere, Jamaica, America, and Europe will have to make a decision when the mark of the beast crisis goes forward. Today it has many names. The New Green Deal. Today it has many names. A day for the planet. Today it has many names. A family day. But it all circulates around one day. And that is the day that the man has sin has erected, which is Sunday. The issue is the seventh versus the first. The issue is truth versus error. The true God of heaven. To remember the Lord's Sabbath is this day. To remember the seventh day Sabbath, which is today. Saturday, the Sabbath that the Lord has made, to remember that today is a holy day. To remember that today men ought to pause and worship the God of heaven, the Creator, the God that made you and I. We are made in the image of God. In the image of God made he, them, male and female. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 26. Today, God is calling you to turn before it is too late. Repent. Cinnamon, repent. Fear God means to respect God. Means to love God that made you and made I. Made you and made me. The mark of the beast crisis is not a joke. It is coming and everyone will have to make a decision between right and wrong between the word of God and the word of man, between the first day and the seventh, this will be a pandemic. This will be worldwide. This will affect every nation. This will affect every race. The mark of the beast crisis. It is not a number. The matter and the issue is about worship. It was about worship in Genesis chapter 3. When Eve failed and Adam failed. It was about worship in Daniel chapter 3. When the three Hebrew boys succeeded. And it will be worship in Revelation 1, 3, Revelation chapter 13. Fear God. 
and give glory to him. Whether you live a country or a town, whether you're in a Mantigobi or Kingston, everyone will have to make a decision. This will affect you and it will affect me. What is your decision today? The God says today, while you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Behold, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, meaning creation, male, female, boy and girl, if any man hear my voice, harden not your heart. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. God loves you and God loves me. Before judgment day comes, turn and serve the Lord. We are made in the image of God. In the image of God made he them male and female. Turn, O oh, turn, and serve the Lord before it is too late. Remember the Sabbath day. Today, six days shall thou labor. Day number one, Sunday. Six days shall thou labor. Day number two, Monday. Three, Tuesday. Four, Wednesday. Five, Thursday. Friday, the sixth day, God rested. But on the seventh day, Genesis chapter two and verse three, God blessed. Today is calling us back to true worship. The mark of the beast issue is coming to every man, every boy, every girl, and we all will have to make a decision. This is the true pandemic. Turn, O oh turn. Fear God and give glory to Him before it is too late. Turn. Alter and serve the Lord. Let us pray. Loving Lord, eternal Father, your word that has gone out shall never return void. It shall stand as a witness in this community. In Jesus' name, amen.